What's up, guys? It's me, your bad answer, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Hey, guys. Guess what? It's my birthday. And yes, I turned a dirty 30. That's right, guys. I'm officially old now. How many of you guys are confused? I don't know. I really don't know. But yes, guys, it is a birthday episode right here. Five birthday episodes, to be quite honest. And in this episode, we're going to be getting ourselves our favorite Pokemon ever. That's right, guys. Let's move on forward right here, because we met Sia or Sophia or whatever, Celia and Dexio, and they're going to try and lead us to Lumioi City, and as you can see, they're like, So, how are you and Frogadier getting along? The more you walk around with your Pokemon, the stronger your friendship will become. Here, this is a TM for return. This is a move that gets more powerful when your friendship with the Pokemon using is strong. So here is a very good Pokemon move for, you know, friendship and all that stuff. And she's like, right through this gate is, uh, and you'll be in Lumioi City. Go on her already. Okay, alrighty, so we're gonna be going on already right here. <laughs> Look at that. The world famous Lumioi City. And this is, the, this is actually the city that you guys have been seeing back then, you know, for the previews of Pokemon X and Y. And if you move on forward right here, guys, Something good will happen, and it is... Oh, damn. These guys. I'll go ahead and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow her to the... Uh, follow, that, follow her that way to the lab. And... Oh, wow. All the way over there. Now, normally we would have the Pokemon lab at the hometown, but... Homeboy here is at the main city. So, here we are, Lumioi City, South Boulevard. There's quite a few things that we can't do, like if you guys could see the guy right there, right over the horizon. That's one of them uh, electrical guys. Something's going on in this place, I don't know what it is. But let's go right ahead and make our way straight to the uh, to the Pokemon lab right here. Look at that. Oh yes. Hit a tree. And bam. Here it is guys, the Pokemon lab. This building is Sycamore Pokemon lab. Let's go inside. Okay, let's get the heck inside, right here, and right when we get into the Pokemon Lab, homegirl's gonna be like, "You traveled a long way to uh, from Vanneville to town. You're in your, but you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor. So hop onto the elevator." Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, uh, we will be having a Pokemon battle pretty soon here. So let's go straight up to the elevator. Look at that. And what floor will I be going to? Let's go to the second floor first. I kind of want to scour the place. See what this whole place is all about. And, well, let's see. To become good friends with Pokemon, it's best to be with them all at all times. Please, use this. We get ourselves some luxury balls, so we got different kinds of Pokeballs here. And a Pokemon caught with a luxury ball will become more friendly easier. Okay. And then, the professor is researching evolution and change. I heard that he learned a lot from Professor Rowan in Salem when he was young. Oh, wow. I remember Professor Rowan. There are male Pokemon, female Pokemon, even Pokemon without genders. Some Pokemon have different appearance depending on a gender. You don't say. And let's see. Each Pokemon has a mysterious ability called... Or mysterious power called an ability. Some abilities have effect during battle, and some have effects in the field. That is true. And let's see, I heard that a TV and a washing machine are necessary for research on a certain Pokemon. That is true. That is, uh, he's probably talking about what's his face. And then, oh, fighting completely in sync with my Pokemon uh, gives me chills. Okay, and then what does Homeboy do right here? Look at that, the Pokeballs are floating! I'm developing a tool that will help my research. I'm pretty difficult, it's pretty difficult work, but please wait patiently for it to be completed. I'm assuming, uh, I don't know what he does. Completely forgot what it was. Comment down below to tell me what that, what that could be. So let's go right ahead and go to the third floor where Professor Sycamore will be waiting for us. And, well, here's the cut screen. There he is. So, we finally meet. Oh, damn. This guy. Fantastic, you're here. Come this way, won't you? Oh damn. Okay. 
He's Rico Suave of the Pokemon Professors right here. Many thanks for coming all the way to Vanderbilt Town. From Vanderbilt Town, I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to meet and finally meet you. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic! Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex and see! Hmm. So have you seen 42 kinds of Pokemon in the Central Callus, then? Some Pokemon can be hard to find, but keep searching in the tall grass. Well now, you do have a certain je ne sais quoi. I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from the town when I was uh, deciding to give a Pokemon to. In Vanderbilt Town, it was going to be uh, the child of the veteran trainer I know. About then, I learned that the Rhyhorn Racer Grace and her son were moving here. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me my mom is a Rhyhorn Racer? I didn't even know that. Huh. That completely flew over my head. <laughs> here in Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right there, right here. Then it hit me. I should give you a Pokemon and have you travel all around Kalos. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. The hell? Oh shit, it's the girlfriends. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic! Now let's have all let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent your opponent shall be me. Ah, oh, okay. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle against this guy. Shall we start the battle? Yep. Just uh, just so you know, I'm not that tough. Really? Professor Oak was tough. So here we go! We're gonna be going up against Professor Sycamore, and he's coming out with his Bulbasaur right here. Look at this guy coming out with some starter Pokemon. But look at me, always prepared. I got myself my fire blade ready. So let's go straight for the Peck Attack right here, and bam! And uh, that Vine Whip Attack is gonna hit us right real, real, real quick right there. So let's go again. Peck Attack for the win. And that takes care of Bulbasaur real quickly. And look at that. Fireblade grows to level 14. And more experience shared. And look at that. Guy at, guy at 3 learning some new moves right there, which is pretty freaking awesome. And here he comes out with a Squirtle. But I got the Pokemon for him. Let's go. Where are you? Where are you? Aaliyah. That's right. My baby girl, Aaliyah. Ready to take it. Look at that. Aaliyah looking all monsterful and all that stuff, and look at this, we got Squirtle ready for us, but here comes the Thundershock attack, bam, Squirtle has been defeated, yes sir, yes sir, Rebob, look at that, and Kakashi grows level 17, and here he comes out with a Charmander, so let's go with Kakashi Hitake right here, alright, What's up? What's up, Professor Sycamore? Didn't think I had you scouted, right? Here we go. Charmander looking all mean and graceful and everything, but here comes the Water Pulse attack. Bam! Takes care of that situation. Bye bye Look at that. Look at that. And Combi doing nothing. He still hasn't done anything growing levels. And he's like, Haha, you're too much for me. You're really something, aren't you? Yes, I am. Okay, alrighty. I think I figured it out. Figured out? Uh, figured what out? Draven, you're an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. Alrighty, so... This right here is very interesting, guys, because you can actually get a starter Pokemon from the Kanto region. Of course, you got Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Now, when Pokemon X and Y first came out, there was the, the Mystery Gift distribution that was coming out, and that was uh, Torchic with... What was it? What was this, the effect on it? It had Speed Boost and everything. Now, we can't do that here anymore. If... You know, Draven would have been a little bit more smarter, a little bit more, you know, with the times and all that stuff. He would have gotten, he would have gotten Torchic by by the next one, and then probably gotten Bulbasaur right here as the three elemental Pokemon that we would have had on our team. But you know, Draven, you know, he just turned 30. Come on, guys, it's my birthday. He just turned 30, and he already has a team figured out because it's six generations. Let's go with six generations right here. Of course, I'm not going to go with Squirtle. I'm definitely going to go with Charmander right here. So here it is, guys, our next Pokemon on our team, Charmander. 
Mainly for the Pokemon X and Y Mega Evolutions. You picked Charmander then! I see, it's simply wonderful! Look at that, guys! Okay. Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, I would. Since it's the third Charmander that we're having on our team, I think it's a good idea to call him by the nickname that we've given him before. Let's go! Godzilla, Godzilla, number three. Look at that. And luckily it does have three more spaces, so... Godzilla 3. Look at that. There we go. Godzilla. Okay. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, these Pokemon have already been recorded into my Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough, so... No worries on that one right there. So you've decided to nickname it uh, Godzilla 3. Yes. Since you chose Charmander, I'll give you this Mega Stone. And we got ourselves a Charizardite... X. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Y, you'll be getting Charizard Eye Y. Now, by getting a starter Pokemon right here from Professor Sycamore, you will be getting its Mega Evolutional, uh, ev Evolutionary Stone. Doesn't matter what it is, but you'll still get it. And, well, he's gonna be like, come on now, you two, pick your Pokemon. I don't know which one to pick, it's so difficult. You'll be together for a long time, so just take your time. Well, I've got a feeling everyone else uh, will soon show up. And, oh, look at it! The Power Rangers are here. Hi, Professor Sycamore! What's this? Everybody's already here? I see. Wonderful! Everyone's all here. So now that the, the, the or now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokémon. Also, I want to ask for your help in solving the Kalos region's biggest mystery. The secret of potential of Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you a Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution? What should we know about the... Or what should uh, we do uh, about the Pokedex? Trevor, my lad. If that's the best trainer... If that's what a best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete the Pokedex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Campfire uh, Town? The town is a, has a lot of history. You might find a, or find a hit there. Now listen. If you visit many uh, different places to complete the Pokedex, you probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people of many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own. And think about what's really important. This is true. This truly will broaden your horizons. I feel, be, I feel that being uh, different with, from others makes me special. Mastery Mega Evolution will definitely uh, set me apart from other trainers. You don't say. Okay. Alrighty. So, that is pretty much it right there, guys. Me and the Power Rangers, we're going to be doing our best to be the very best that no one ever can. Okay, so, let's go ahead and take, out, uh, take a look at our newest Pokemon, Godzilla 3 here. Fire-type Pokemon. And look at that. It does have some pretty good stats. Blaze is its uh, ability, and it does have four moves, Scratch, Growl, Ember, and Smokescreen. And if you guys take a look at this, it's nature, it is modest, and it likes to run and all that stuff. So, yes guys, it is a female too. The first female Char Charmander that I've had. Look at that. So I'm gonna, yeah, I have an all-female cast right now. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. So, that is pretty much it right there for this episode, guys. This is how we're going to get started with our birthday. Now, the next four episodes, we're going to be breezing by real quick. Maybe 24, 20 episodes long or something. We've got a lot of stuff to cover. Hopefully, we'll meet some new Pokemon and all that stuff. But thank you guys once again for watching the first episode on my birthday. Yes, Draven's Dirty 30 is here. So, if you guys have a Twitter, Instagram, you know, post Draven's Dirty 30. I don't know. <laughs> something like that and yeah stay tuned for the next episode of my pokemon pokemon x walkthrough see you guys